Concrea Trow Polish, the groundbreaking system that is revolutionizing the concrete finishing industry. During this short video, learn how to transform your power trowel into a grinding and polishing machine with the simple six step process of the Concrea Sleeking System. Tools needed include a power trowel with at least 150 pounds of down pressure, Concrea Sleeking Discs, steps one through six, pre-cut mounting pads sized for your power trowel, industrial adhesive hook fasteners and your trowel floating pan, Concrea approved lithium densifier and sealer. Before you begin, peel and firmly press the Concrea adhesive hook fasteners to the bottom of your floating pan. These will help keep the mounting pad in place during the polishing process. Insert the clip end of the Concrea discs into the pre-cut holes of the mounting pad and firmly press into the pad. Using a forklift or hydraulics, lift your power trowel to secure the floating pan. Slide the mounting pads with discs attached under your floating pan and lower the power trowel to secure the pad to the hook fasteners. Ensure the mounting pads are centered. This is important for even distribution of weight. Concrea is a wet system, wet under the machine to lubricate the discs. Wet the rest of your working area generously as well. Choosing your beginning step is the most important part of the Concrea system. The first step you choose will determine the aggregate exposure level. Step 1 typically exposes salt and pepper aggregate, while steps 2 and 3 can be used to polish the cream of the surface. Whatever step you begin with, do not skip any subsequent steps. If the Concrea discs are new, you will need time to allow the diamonds to become exposed. You should achieve this after one pass or until you start to see concrete slurry. When doing passes with the Concrea system, alternate the direction of your passes from east to west, then north to south. Using this grid pattern ensures even cutting and results throughout the surface of the floor. Always overlap your passes by 50% to ensure even results. Keep a slow, steady pace and continue for two to four passes. If you notice the floor drying out, wet the surface as necessary. Before completely removing the slurry, check to see that the cut is to your liking. If you want more aggregate exposure or desire a deeper cut, Continue with two more passes of step one. Once you are satisfied with the initial cut, use an auto scrubber or industrial vacuum to clean up the slurry. Using the same method from step one, continue with steps two and three. Vacuum the slurry in between steps and be sure to check the cut after each step to ensure your desired results will be achieved. After step three, we recommend densifying the floor using a lithium-based densifier. Before you densify, use an auto scrubber to clean the surface well and allow the concrete to dry completely. Wait about 30 minutes to one hour to allow your lithium densifier to chemically react with the concrete. Continue with steps four, five, and six. Remember to keep a slow, steady pace and to overlap your passes by 50%. If you desire a high gloss level, Concrea steps five and six may be run dry instead of wet. If this is the case, clean the floor well after step four and allow the surface to dry completely. 
using a 3000 grit diamond impregnated pad after step 6 will help to further enhance the gloss level. Also, consider using a Concre approved sealer for added protection and gloss enhancement. Concrea Trowel Polish, changing the way people look at grinding and polishing.